Hi Capricorn, this is your behind the scenes reading for January 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Capricorn for January 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for January 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Capricorn for January 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so capricorn capricorn these are your cards honey so, Capricorn, you have yourself, the devil. This devil energy can speak of a toxic energy that is looming over you guys' relationship. And what makes it toxic is this restrictive and binding. Someone may be obsessive, possessive, controlling, abusive. Someone may have an addiction to sex, drugs, drinking, smoking, working too much, money, attention, gambling, sports, video games, eating too much, anything that a person does too much of. Or someone here is in a full-blown relationship somewhere else causing this toxic energy to loom over you guys' relationship. So Capricorn, this is you, but this devil card could also speak of something being toxic, restrictive, and binding. This can speak of a legal binding contract, but also temptation. Clarify the devil for Capricorn. Clarify the devil for Capricorn. What about Capricorn? What about Capricorn? Clarify the devil for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Hierophants. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Taurus, but listen, this can be about commitment. You guys may already be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain. This can be about forgiveness. This can be about dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, or religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn. Clarify the Hierophant for Capricorn. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Capricorn, listen, you could be passing your own final verdict, judgment, answer, and decision here. Very well could be that someone is asking for forgiveness here in a second chance. Or we could be dealing with something illegal Clarify judgment for Capricorn. Clarify judgment for Capricorn. Clarify judgment for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy, <clears throat> happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So listen, Capricorn, this seems to be about some type of commitment here, okay? And some type of judgment being passed here. So either someone has commitment on the brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even property. However, in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to a commitment, marriage, living together, situation, family dynamics. Okay, so either coming into or going out of. Because when we're dealing with this devil, 
This can speak of a legal binding contract. This can speak of commitment. This can speak of judgment or an answer here, okay? About commitment, okay? Going into or coming out of, okay? So Capricorn, <laughs> you have judgment again, okay? So judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship, so Capricorn, either you're passing your own final verdict, judgment, answer, decision here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness here and a second chance, or we could be dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Capricorn. Clarify judgment for Capricorn. Clarify judgment for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So listen, hmm. You may have to pass your own final verdict and judgment rather to forgive someone. They may be coming in with some type of token of love. You can tell me that, you know, this is about you coming up with an answer, your final judgment or decision concerning money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment here. Could also be like judgment and legal that I keep saying, okay? And maybe something is coming into you. Maybe you're being awarded here, okay? Capricorn, you have the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Capricorn, listen, you could be closed off, blocked off, not opening up. Very well could be keeping something close to your chest or you're holding on to your coins. Clarify the four of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the four of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the four of pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Very well could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something here. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there was a secret. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Rushing in with the spark of a new idea. Rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Capricorn, listen, it very well could be a rush to do something here. You can tell me that there was a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument, or someone was out being a player. And this could be the secret here. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Capricorn. It is clarified with the three of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Gemini, it seems like you may be holding back from rushing to celebrate here. Maybe just keep it closed off. Because some, something is coming into you. If we're dealing with something illegal, okay? Maybe you just want to hold back on, you know, being so quick to celebrate. However, you can tell me that 
there was a third party here. You know, someone could have been out being a player. And this is why you're so closed off here, you know, and have to make a decision on whether or not you're going to forgive someone or not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You may also not be in a rush to reunite with this person. You still may have reservations. You have the moon again. Wow. Wow. Look, we're doubling up on this read here. The moon again. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Like I said, you could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that, hey, I don't know, I'm in the dark concerning something here. You can tell me you're using your intuition or there was a secret. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. Clarify the moon for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Capricorn, you can tell me that there was a secret and this caused you to walk away. Like I said, the secret could be that someone was out being a player with a third party. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you can tell me that, hey, I don't know, I'm unsure, I'm using my intuition on whether to return and whether to reunite and maybe not being so quick to make this judgment here, okay? Capricorn, you have justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, but you may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or you're saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty. I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or you're dealing with something in the justice system. So Capricorn could be dealing with a Libra, but you can tell me that, hey, something isn't fair. Something is imbalanced. Something isn't just. You can tell me you want to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation or you're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Capricorn. Clarify justice for Capricorn. Clarify justice for Capricorn. <clears throat> Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Capricorn, some type of confrontation taking place here question and answer session someone setting the record straight someone getting to the bottom of something clarify the knight of swords for capricorn clarify the knight of swords for capricorn clarify the knight of swords for capricorn it is clarified with you capricorn taurus or virgo the king of pentacles this king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Capricorn, this is you. Clarify the king of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the king of pentacles for Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. What about Capricorn? What about Capricorn? Clarify the King of Pentacles for Capricorn. It is clarified with the Three of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is you waiting, waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So listen, hmm, Capricorn, I may be speaking to two different groups of you guys. Some of you are, your ships are here. Something is coming into you in the justice system here, okay? I feel like you do have just cause to celebrate, but I feel like you want to hold back or celebrate quietly by yourself or something, okay? Just 
walk away from the situation, okay? It's, it's a done deal. You have just cause to celebrate. Something is coming into you. However, <clears throat> we could be dealing with relationships here. And someone is asking for forgiveness and a second chance here. And you're not wanting to rush in to reunite with this person because there's some, some element of the unknown that is causing you to want to walk away from the situation. And I feel like you feel like something wasn't fair, something wasn't balanced, something wasn't just. We had this confrontation. And you may feel like, hey, I just want to look to see what else is out there. Capricorn. This is your behind the scenes reading for January 2022. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.